Hello everybody, so this is going to be a new series of videos, um, hopefully once a week, um, if not once every couple of weeks. Uh, I'm just going to be vlogging darts, no matter what happens, practice, games, tournaments, online GDL games, all the sorts of things. I'm going to give you a brief summary of just what's going on, hopefully something cool comes out of it. Um, to start off today's video though, I have a new shirt. Uh, I have a couple of new shirts actually. So. Um, if you didn't know, I've got into shirt designing, I've managed to source a factory where I can get shirts made uh, and I've got a couple that have turned up today, so this is the blue one, what we're going to do is unwrap the red and black one and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so here we go, got the red and black one, apologies for the noise. So, the sleeve and... I mean, it looks basically the same as this one, but it's red and black, as you can see. Uh, it's got a pattern on one side, and then the bottom side's got like a bit of a pattern, but not too much. Um, the back is the same. The difference on the back is it's got a KB uh, monogram, they call it. So it's like when two letters get infused sort of together in a logo. So that is my initials. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty basic level shirt. I wanted something a bit more subtle for going out to tournaments and stuff. So um, yeah, let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer the red and black one? Or do you prefer the sort of double blue, navy and uh, sort of sky-ish color blue one? Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you want to buy one of these, they'll be available on my website relatively soon, hopefully within the next month or so. So yeah, make sure you check out my website and keep an eye out for one of these. Uh, if you want to see when they come out first, you can actually, you know, just tweet me uh, your email address and or DM me your email address and I'll put you on a mailing list uh, and I'll show you when they come out. Uh, we've now got set up for a GDL game. So we're going to get set up, move all this stuff out of the way. My laptop is just there. Get set up. And before we do that, I've actually got to change the flights because my flights are absolutely battered. As you can see there. So I've got to change the flights. flight's changed, let's go and play an online dance game. So before I actually play I thought I'd show you the setup. So this is my computer, um, this is NACA which I'm going to be playing on tonight, this is Streamlabs just so I can you know record the game, um, which is what I normally use for streaming. Shout out to all of the guys here, shout out Skipper167 for super chatting a uh, two pounds to me last week on my stream and all of these guys have also subscribed recently. If you see your name put yourself in the comments. Um, so I have, excuse the mess, because I've still got all this stuff here from when I recorded the all-in-one flight systems video. Uh, thanks for the support on that, by the way. So basically, I have a stand. This clamps to this sort of, um, you know, Kallax unit. Shout out Ikea. Um, and it's got these tripod mounts. So you've got one up here, which I don't really use. Um, I've got this extended arm, which comes out to this one, which points at the board, as you can see. Uh, and I've got this little clamp at the back here which points a camera at me. This is mainly, you know, for YouTube streams and stuff. Um, and then that is put into Streamlabs, which then outputs two different sources there, as you can see. And that's how I stream slash record my games. Yeah, pretty simple setup. Um, if you want to get into recording your darts games, I'd definitely recommend um, at least getting a clamp like this because then you can sort of like clamp it to a shelf or you can clamp it to a unit or you could even clamp it to like your dartboard light possibly it might be a bit too close but if you can get on with like a long extending arm something a bit more solid and permanent if you're going to have a permanent darts room set up definitely worth investing in obviously for me I make YouTube videos so this stays up sort of all the time basically ready to stream and yeah that's how I film and record my streams and play online darts matches what we're going to do is uh, start recording that, get a bit of a warm up and um, play our game
100. One hundred. Ninety two. Six. So it's been a couple of hours since that game. That was absolutely terrible. Uh, missed a load of doubles. I had a couple of good legs where I scored well, but yeah, just couldn't hit a double. I think two legs where I hit like one leg, I hit three tons and like an eighty or something. Missed a load of doubles. Uh, one leg had a couple of one forties and like an eighty something. Missed low doubles and missed and lost that one as well. So yeah, I know what I need to work on. Uh, I am currently watching the online darts live lounge with Jack Garwood, Phil Bars, and Jarl. Um Yeah, uh, I watch this every Monday. Um, I didn't used to watch it, but I would just start watching it over the last sort of couple of months. Um, really good dart show for you guys if you want like a roundup of what's happened in the previous week i definitely recommend you go and watch it um jack also has his own uh youtube channel where he's done some vlogs on the seniors tour um so definitely worth checking out as well and also the modus as well so yeah definitely worth checking out uh his videos on that um yeah i think what we're going to do tomorrow is practice some checkouts and some doubles um and i'm going to show you a twitter account where i get all my practice routines so i'll see you then so it's day two of the hopefully weekly if not bi-weekly vlog uh, i'm wearing the same shirt donate me i only wore the shirt yesterday literally for half an hour tv's turn on um we're about to go live on youtube so uh every wednesday or thursday depending on what day i'm available i will do a versus subs first two legs um so i've just got it all set up i'm going to show you that now so again same as yesterday same setup hasn't moved all been continue to be plugged in, I've got my board obviously, uh, and then what I do, I'm only using one monitor, so I'll have the chat here, I'll have NACA here, and then I will open up Streamlabs and that will come up over on this side, and that will be how I stream. Um, yeah, what I usually like to do is go live sort of five minutes beforehand, get a bit of chat going in the live chat, and um, yeah, hopefully get a bit of you know interaction before the stream starts so there i am as you can see and then i'm on the camera up there and that shows down there as well and obviously you've got the one at the board as well so uh yeah hopefully it's going to be a good stream i'll probably try and get some clips uh while i'm playing i'll see you in a bit Just um, go on. Wrong, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. He was like, "Oh, number! Oh my God, trouble thirteen, thirty-nine, seventy-seven, forty-seven. Two decent checkouts there. Sorry, Ben. One hundred and eighty. Hello, so we're back again. Uh, just got in from work Friday. Um, so Tuesday was my GDL game. Wednesday was a stream. Didn't have anything yesterday. Um, tonight. 
I again not really doing anything, but I'm gonna do a bit of practice in a minute. Uh, I just want to show you the account that I show. Uh, the account that I use, sorry, for my practice games. Just look here. So we have practice guru, darts practice routines. I think he's changed his thing. Uh, darts practice routines and tips. Uh, just at dart practice on Twitter. So he has all of these little routines. Look, so you know, warm up ten minutes for a bullseye. Hit twenty five fifty. Oh, it's going out of focus. If you 25-50, get all three darts in, da, 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 group in, doubles, match play. Um, this is the one I'm going to do today, actually. So, um, yeah, I might skip the grouping one and just do doubles and match play because I don't have too much time. But yeah, he's got loads of little practice games on here. Just, you know, tweet some good stuff about practice games, about equipment, as you can see there. Um, yeah, just some really good... Uh, tips and routines so go and check him out if you haven't i'll leave a link in the description uh, let's jump on the practice board and give it a go just this one is match play as you can see here i've tried to blow up as much as you can i'll do 101 in 9 151 in 9 201 in 9 251 in 9 301 in 9 see how far i can go um playing no longer than 15 to 20 minutes i'll probably play it for a little bit um but yeah, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but we'll see how we get on. So it doesn't actually say if you go up or down one, so I think I'll just stick on 151. Eighty-one it gives me seventy. Five remaining with three in hand. There we go, so we got two two oh one. Two oh one again. One hundred. It's me a hundred and one six hand. It says 201. We're going to try and get 251 in the next few minutes. Nine darts. Hello, everyone. So, this is the final part of this week's vlog. Uh, I'm actually doing another live stream on YouTube. Um, just managed to get some time, so I'm going to do a bit of a live. Uh, I am actually currently live. Start stream. Yes, yeah, so normally I stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays, or Wednesdays. Wednesdays or Thursdays, um, and then I might stream on the weekend if I get time, which isn't often the case, but if I do, I'll literally just go live, have a chuck, chat with people and stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, yeah, you would have seen my practice session the other day. Um, I've had another one since then, it went okay, not great. Uh, I'm going back to testing some slightly longer points, which I'm going to be using in this stream, um, just to give that a bit more front weighting. And it was sort of when I was playing well, I was playing with longer points, so we're just going to try them out. Uh, they're not overly too much longer. I uh, started on uh, so these the ones I was using was 38 mil and these are 44. So quite long in relevance to the standard length point, but I've sort of used these for quite a while. So we're going to see how they go. What we're going to do is turn on the stream and go live. Thank you everyone for watching this week's vlog. Um, yeah, apologies if there's some audio issues. It's I'm chopping, changing between microphones depending on what I'm filming. So 
the audio quality will probably be better on the streams because I'm using a good microphone and I'm using my phone microphone for the vlog. So yeah, apologies if the audio is all over the place. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. It lets me know that obviously you want to see these types of videos and it helps push it to people who aren't subscribed to my channel. If you aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe down below for more darts content. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.